What's up guys and welcome back to my camper conversion YouTube channel. So today's video is part of a series converting the Mercedes Mobility Minibus and the build's been cracking on, along quite nicely. The full van's fully insulated, it's got all the flooring down barring one panel there so I can get in and do all the water tanks. I'm just waiting on a couple of fixtures and fittings still to arrive for those. So in the meantime, today I'm going to start blocking off a couple of the windows and then boarding in all the side panels to encapsulate all of the actual uh, side insulation as well. So in the build itself, these two rear windows are going to be completely blacked out. I'm going to be painting these on the inside with some multi-surface paint and then I'm going to be uh, using another sheet of the 25mm Kingspan type insulation putting that right up against each window on each side. Then I've got some of the 3.6mm ply and this is just going to be basically used to encapsulate all of the insulation all up against the actual side panels and then it means it can start to get built up inside there. Obviously I don't just want to be putting any kitchen units and things directly against the insulation panels because then you're not really giving the insulation a chance to work its best. It needs to be really encapsulated with a little bit of an air gap inside as well that's how this insulation works to its best performance so as I say I've got a good number of the uh, three and a half mil ply sheets I've got plenty of these to be cracking on with I've got some of the paint for the window as well as I say that's just your standard multi-surface paint that's a good quality paint that as well so it's going to be a nice thick one as well so as I say first things first I'm just going to give both of these windows a really good clean down then they're going to get a real thick smothering of this multi-surface paint. We'll get them insulated up, we'll get them boarded out, then we'll crack on, do the rest of the side boarding as well. And hopefully by the end of this video we'll have two fully blocked out windows and the rest of the side panels fully boarded, ready for the interior to get start building out. So we'll get some safety gear on, some tools out and we'll get cracked on. Right, so there we go, there's all of the windows fully painted up now. I've given them three coats, I just didn't bother filming all of the additional coating just because it's just applying paint on top of paint really. But this is completely blacked out now, the paint dries as a film, this particular uh, paint, so it's equivalent of uh, a vinyl type film really, the way it's dried up. So on the outside it just looks as though it's a limo type tint, you can't see anything through it at all. On the inside it's left a nice te uh, texture and as I say now it's just going to be a case of cutting down the insulation, completely filling the window voids where any of the blackout paint's gone and then it's all going to get uh, sealed in with some 4mm ply that I've got there as well. I've cut a few of these sheets already down to shape already just because I was waiting for some of the insulation so I've just got that now. 
So I'm going to get some of this cut down. And as I say, this, these two back windows completely uh, covered over. And then the front two are just going to be, as I say, where the full blackout is. And that's still going to leave lovely little views going out the windows. But a hell of a lot of privacy from the roadside where you just cannot see in. I'm six foot three and I've made sure that all I can see from the outside is pretty much the ceiling. And that's fine. That's all I wanted. A little bit of privacy. So I'm going to crack on, get some of these uh, insulation sheets cut down, get them all adhered to the glass, and then we'll get the ply panels on. And that'll be all the windows blacked out and panelled up. So that's all the insulation, all fully stuck to the glass now. So that's the glass as insulated as it's going to get, as much as it can be basically. So now it's just a case of getting all of the ply panels secured up and then I can start cladding over these as well. The purpose of this thin ply is just to allow a nice flat surface to get all the cladding adhered to, give it a surface to actually bond to. So I've already cut a few of these panels down, I've got a few more still to cut. So I'll crack on, get all of these lined up, get my jigsaw out and cr uh, cut up the other ones that need doing. But it's coming along quite nicely.
right so there we go that's how i've fully blacked out all of the rear windows and partially blacked out the front of the uh, middle and front windows on this mercedes mobility minibus it's then been fully insulated over then fully cladded over with 3.6 mil ply on either side i have done the roof as well but as you just saw when i panned up there it's now not in place because i'm having to uh, record over a different intro because i fo totally forgot to do an actual roundup after i'd finished doing all of the uh, cladding on the sides and on the ceiling but as you can see as i say that's ha exactly how i have uh, fully blacked out the rear windows fully cladded up over the uh, side so now the next job is going to be laying down the flooring inside the van so once the flooring's in then i'll be able to actually start building up the interiors and get all the cladding on the side panels as well but i'm quite happy and quite pleased with how all these have came out i mean that down there is the insulation i'm going to be using for the flooring as well i'm going to be using some uh, xps flooring and i've also been out and bought some laminate look ultra safety flooring so that's going to be coming up in the next video as well so i hope you found this video useful of how i've blacked out all of the side windows and covered over insulated and plied over the side panels and the ceiling as well as i say the ceiling itself just isn't covered in this so give the video a good old thumbs up hit that subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you on the next series of the uh, build thanks for watching Cheers.